Hello creating ones, it's Michelle here with MixedMediaArt.net and I'm really excited to share some of our new products with you. Now this one is a brand new supplier to Mixed Media Art. They are the Life of Colour Markers which is as an, an Australian company right here in Sydney and it's fantastic for them to be able to bring these fantastic markers to us. So let's jump in and we can talk about all their uses while we have a look at the range. So we have a whole heap of things for the Life by Colour range. There's a variety of markers plus some extra products as well. So let's jump in and then we'll do some swatching as well. So let me sort them out. So we're stocking not the entire range but a good selection. So these are the median tips. Now these are classed as 3mm tips and I'll show you a set in a minute. So we've got the glitter pens and these have got rounded tips and there are 12 colors in each set so it becomes really economical when you're buying as you're buying the set so there's glitters there's your classic colors there there's special colors which are a little bit more pastel and then there are your bright colors as well so gorgeous sets so like I said these are bullet points three millimeter 12 in each pack then we have our fine tips, which are one millimeter, and these are similar colors. So we've got our brights with their 12 colors. We've got the metallics. And then we've got our special colors there as well. So they're the main sets of 12 we've got. And there's a few other sets as well. So there is a straight black and white set, again in the medium tip and the fine tip. And there's six pens in each. So this one has three white and three black. And this one has three white and three black. So again, a great way to make sure that you've got pens. Once you know how to use them, you will always have one in your back pocket. So of course, as any paint pens, when you first get it, you want to give it a good shake and have a bit of a practice run. Now these are the really cool chrome mirror effects. There's a silver, gold and copper in those. And they're a three millimeter tip as well. So in addition to this, our accessories, we've got the Life of Colour paper. We thought that would be a great thing to turn into a journal. Now there's 30 A4 sheets in a pad and it's 200 GSM. And so it's perfect for colouring pencils, for markers, so you can do some creations and you know that that, that pen won't sink through. So the other thing we've got here are the dot pens. So again, 12 colours. And the great thing about this is that there's a large and a small tip as well. So a dual tip. So a five millimeter dot and then a fine tip. And again, a whole heap of classic colors right through to your gold and silver as well. And so this really encourages you, you know, to paint on any surface. And the Life by Color has a fantastic Facebook group as well. So they encourage you rock painting, fabric and shoes, ceramics, paintboard, wood, you know, pretty much. So we know that they will be perfect for our mixed media. Now the other thing I wanted to share with you was the gorgeous Life of Colour journaler. Firstly, oh don't you just love this box? What will you create today in this gorgeous gold lettering? And when we take it off and open the gorgeous branded printed tissue paper, we find this most adorable journal. Now they tell us that this is a gorgeous vegan leather. And again, it's just a beautiful colour. It comes with two bookmarks, one with a little charm and one without. Um, with a pen holder as well, which is always important. And then the great thing is, is that it includes both black and white pages. So it has, you can see there, a combination of both. It's a, ooh, I'm not sure, I think it's a 200 GSM. It's got a pocket in there to keep your bits and pieces. 200 GSM, and again, just gorgeous pages for your metallics as well and all your brights. And then for your doodling, beautiful smooth pages. You know, for mixed media, you probably wouldn't add too much paint in here, but definitely as far as drawing and markers go, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous book. And it also has that what will you create today on the cover. So we'll pop that away. Now, what I wanted to do today was to swatch some of these pens for you. So as we know, with mixed media, it's always good to understand our materials. And swatching our colours and understanding our pens is a really good way to start. Now, this set was open about four or five days ago. They've been shaken up. They're all ready to go, so I won't need to bore you with that. But again, with like ah, any good paint pen, we're going to give it a really good shake. 
Now this is my book where I do all my bits and pieces and doodling. It's not the thickest paper, but it will be good. I've already got some ephemera down here and some black card as well. And let's get swatching. So again, let's start with pink, give it a bit of a shake. So you can see there that nice three pointed nib. And then we're just gonna go like that. Oh, and across there. And instantly we can give, gives us an idea of how see-through it is, how opaque it is, and then also what it looks like on the black. And of course, the other thing we want to check is did it actually bleed through? And it hasn't bled through at all in those sheets. So that is really exciting because I know if I was using like an alcohol marker, it would soak straight through. So there's the pink. Let's go with the purple. I've got 12, so I better make sure I leave lots of space for them all. Ooh, that's quite a dark one. Again, a little bit darker on the black, but still very nice. Can get the yellow. Okay, so the yellow doesn't show up great on the black, but it is nice and bright. You still see through over the ephemera. Let's go orange. Oops. Stuck in part of the ephemera there. There's that orange. So nice and bright. A red. It's come up into quite a solid line. It's getting a little bit more absorbed into the black. Let's go through the colours before we go into the black and white metallics. Here is the green. Now on our website, each colour, each all the colours are listed in all of the sets. Ooh, so you know exactly what you are getting. Pretty sure there's no repeat colours in the sets. So each set has its own set of colours. Ooh. Look at that blue, that's really sitting on top. Isn't that interesting? That looks quite a bit more opaque than the other one, so that's good to know. Okay, let's give our white. Now, as we know as art journalists, we're always looking for the ultimate white pens. Let's see how this one performs. Again, not too much on there. Oh, I reckon someone's going to need a bit more of a shake. Mm, okay. That one's interesting. So if I just do dots rather than try and drag it out of lines, that will sit on top nicely. Might do the same one here. It is getting quite absorbed. This is quite a porous piece of book paper. So again, give the black a good shake. Really nice solid colour there and again really opaque. Okay, so now we've got our silver. So take one, and then finally out gold. There we go, and oh, run away silver, and there we go. So that just gives you an idea of what the swatching's like. So definitely, the the pink, yellow, orange, red, and the green are quite trans uh, transparent. So is the purple a little bit. The blue is really opaque. That's sitting on top. The white, I think we're going to need to have a bit of a look at that, give it a bit more of a shake. The black is really solid, as is the silver and the gold. So that was the medium tip on the Life of Colour markers as well. So I hope that's given you a bit of an idea of what the colours look like and what they will look like over the ephemera and the black as well. So I hope you are as excited as I am by our new Life of Colour range. So the two different heads plus the dots and the chromes and then the paper and the journal, which I just love, would make a gorgeous gift for a special person in your life regardless of their age. So for all the details, head over to our website, mixedmediaart.net, click on the shop online, type in Life of Colour and that range will come up. So this is Michelle signing off. I hope you have a crafty day.